Hey, how's it Can going, man? Cop one. Is there a bass carp? Nah, carp. Oh, yeah. 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 Can I see yeah. your fishing license? Let me just yes, check that sir. Real quick. Perfect. And you know the restrictions for fishing within the river? Yeah, no no barbs on the hook, a uh, single pole. Cool, cool. Just go ahead and reel it on me just to check it out right. real quick. That's a huge fish. <laughs> What is good? What is good? All my real ones. Welcome back to another episode of It Gets Real. It's your boy, B the Flossy Fisherman. And today, man, we back in my hometown, San Jose, hitting the uh, urban creeks again, man. The urban rivers, creeks out here, you know. And I'm out here trying to hook up on my PB carp, man. I'll be using some corn today as bait and maybe some bread, but to make it interesting, to keep things interesting like we do on It Gets Real, I brought with me my Shakespeare Dock Runner. Yep, another mini pole challenge. So, uh, not only trying to break my PB today, but I'm going to try to do it, man, on this little pole, man, a mini pole right here. Uh, this is four pound test at that. I did manage, um, when I was doing the comparison between the Doc Demon and the Doc Runner, I did manage to land a five pound trout on this exact pole right here. But we're going to try to double it up today. But, uh, Y'all know how this goes, man. Y'all keep it locked and see if your boy can't hook up on something. Woke up in the morning around six o'clock. Hop up in the whip and hit the bank shot. Gotta make it quick, no time to waste. But I gotta stock up on worms, hook some weight. Pull up to the lake, trying to find a spot. His brain said they bite and buy the duck. If you ever been fishing, then you know the deal. Sit back, relax, cause man, it gets real. Be using the Carolina rig, and the purpose of this bead right here is to protect your knot from the weight. So, as you're casting, and if there is a heavy current, that weight could be banging against your knot and causing abrasion to it, to, which could possibly uh, result in it breaking off. So, what I'm going to use is a size six octopus hook circle hook in california you got to use barbless hooks when you're fishing on the river and this is not a barbless hook but i'll show you how you get rid of the barb you either get your pliers and pinch it down or you just turn it till the bar breaks off and by doing this motion if it doesn't catch it to break off it does pinch it down so you no longer have a barb on there and it's cool because if you're not planning on keeping the fish you know it's a it's easy to unhook them without doing any damage to the fish so you know, i think that rule was created because they say uh steelhead or salmon used to run through this river some time ago and um you know when people was just fishing and it was out of season you know they don't well now you're not supposed to catch them at all but uh, i guess when it wasn't in season you know people would hook up on them and stuff and uh you know they were using barbed hooks and it does damage to the fish and it's harder to get them back in the wild when you do damage to them like that with the barbed hook so now it's all barbless hooks so they could be safely released if you do happen to accidentally hook up on one the good corn the jolly green giant hopefully i can land me a giant and the way them fish is jumping out here i mean hopefully that means they got an appetite blam blam 
Yeah, we ready to roll, man. We ready to rock. Get that out there. Make sure my drag is a little bit loose. I want to keep it loose, man, because uh, there's some big fish out here. Two big boys right there. What the heck is that? Two of them right there, man. He had it and he dropped it. Got one. Got one on. I'm gonna take it easy on the drag. <laughs> Four pound test, like I said. Goodness. These things are smart, man. Trying to take me into all that vegetation over there. Oh, got all this action going on. Yeah, he's still way out there. Yes, drag ain't no match for this, man. I pretty much have this drag as tight as it will go, too. Four pound test, man. That's crazy. <laughs> Sheesh. This is a stock reel, man. You know, I know people use these poles and switch out the reels and uh, put line on here, but to me, uh, that's the feet and the purpose of this challenge. Yeah, I don't know if he's a double digit, but he, he's up there. Woo. Like I say in my intro, that's a huge fish. <laughs> if y'all don't know where that's from by now, man, it's from uh, Deuce Bigelow. But they don't say fish. Y'all could um, fill in the blanks. <laughs> oh man, this is a lengthy carp right there. Goodness gracious, yeah, that might be a double digit. <laughs> He's fighting. Dude, this dude is fighting. That's when I thought I had him in. We still got plenty of fight left to him. He keeps making these runs. Ooh. Good Lord. My goodness. <laughs> Dang, man. That's a big old carp, man. Dang, he gonna make, make a run, too. I know, he'll try to make... Yep. Jeez. I'll just have to beast this guy in. I know he wants to go. He's gonna run. Dog, oh, this is a big fish, man. Oh my goodness. Yeah, dude, I think I've made my uh, 
think it's mission accomplished, bro. Probably the longest I've ever fought a fish, man. Not a fought a fish longer than this. Sharks, rays, or maybe an 80 pound ray that I caught not too long ago. Holy moly, y'all. Whoa. Oh, this is for sure double digit, yo. Look at this beast, y'all, on the mini pole. Moment of truth, y'all. <laughs> what is it? Is it 13? 12, eight, nine. Wow, y'all, I did it on the uh dock runner mini pole challenge double digit new pb carp let's go yeah man he don't even fit in the picture we'll get a measure on him but he's probably like 27 28 something ridiculous y'all it's a big fella it's gonna take a while for him to get his strength back, but he fought. Man, this thing fight. Wrong way, buddy. There you go. Woo! All right, y'all. Well, mission complete. Guess the only question is now, can I beat that? Can I catch another one? We're gonna throw them back out there and see. Y'all keep it loud. See that, it was going. I think we got another one on, y'all. He's trying to just dive all in them weeds, yo. These things are so smart. Definitely took me somewhere. My, he broke me off. Hey, how's it going, man? Caught one. That's your best carp? Nah, carp. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Can I see yep. your expression license? I'm just yes, sir. Real quick. Perfect. And you know the restrictions for fishing within the river? Yeah, no no barbs on the hook, uh, single pole. Well, cool, cool. Just go ahead and reel it on and just check it right. real quick. Are you using bread and corn right now? Yeah. Okay, so it's artificial lures only. Oh. So no bread, no corn, no worms. Ah. And additionally to that, there's no fishing within 250 feet of the dam. So you're, you're probably right at it. Okay. But either way, if you're gonna continue using corn, my only thing is just go fish in Almaden Lake. Almaden Lake? Yeah, anywhere past that green bridge. So no barb. barb real quick. Cool, you got the barb taken care of. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, either swap it out for a soft plastic or get okay. on the other side of that green bridge and we'll count that as good. Technically, the okay. lake is the river. Okay. But we give that to y'all where it's just like, hey, we gotta give you something. Okay. So cool, cool. All right, so lures only. You got any on you? I I do, but right I haven't here? seen no bass in here though. Yeah, from right here you're not really gonna get it since you do have barbless. Uh, you know that next pool that's over there? 
No, the I haven't seen it. The creek, it's the pool before you hit the green bridge. Okay. Same thing, that's going to be barbless as well because it's not part of the lake. Okay. But right there, I've seen some pretty good, like, four or five pounders being pulled out of there. So that hmm. is probably going to be your best option. Here, All right. Just the stillness of the water, I think, kind of keeps a lot of stuff out because, shoot, that's really as deep as it gets in the center. Oh, wow. So you're really not going to get much. Okay. Well, cool. well today, no All problem. right. Well, cool. going to be warnings. No All second. right. Have a good one. All right. Thank you. Well, then, man. That concludes this episode of It Gets Real. But hey, the challenge was done today. And like I said, man, they won't ever catch me slipping. I keep my license on me. Yeah, man. Man, pretty much dodged a ticket right there. Um, I knew the rules of no barb. So he made me check my hook. No barb on it. Good to go. But the thing that he could have got me on was the artificial bait. If you're going to be fishing the river out here, barbless hooks, one pole only, um, and artificial bait. So I guess I got to find me some artificial corn or something like that if I wanted to fish this area. Uh, but other than that, man, barbless lures and uh, robo worms for the bass, I guess. So, yes, sir. Like I said, they do be out here. So if y'all out here, you ain't got your L's, you don't, you're not following the rules of fishing the rivers and the creeks, man, you can't get sighted. But hey, man, I got my mission complete. Caught my PB um, on the mini pole. It's fun while it lasted. <laughs> but till the next one, man, y'all be cool. Y'all be blessed. Peace. All right, man, I got a question for uh, my fellow YouTubers and, um, you know, everybody that uses GoPro. I use a head mount most of the time when I'm um, out here filming. But what happens more than often is since it's on my head in the sun, uh, sometimes I push record and my GoPro doesn't start. So I have to take out the battery put it back in and um, then it starts up again. Do any of you guys ever have that issue or that problem uh, with your GoPro just shutting off? Yeah, man, just let me know in the comments. Maybe I have to get a GoPro for, about that. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a problem that I, an issue that I often run into. And because of that, uh, I wasn't able to get when that fish initially hit I mean, this rod went all the way down and the drag was just peeling like crazy. Uh, missed all that action due to that malfunction.